Hi there, this is Dr. Embody. I am one of the two instructors for uh, CSE 231, the other one being Ali Raza. Uh, so what, what are we here for? Um, well, this is an introduction to uh, programming, computer science. And when you, uh, when you get onto the web pages, you'll see there's a video about uh, helping somebody walk. And it's a combination of mechanical engineering uh, and computer science to uh, you know, make somebody's life better. And, and that's why uh, computer scientists are, are here. That, that, that's part of our goal, uh, as well as uh, many other disciplines. Uh, you know, so what is this course about? This course is really about problem solving. You may think it's about programming, but it's really about problem solving. And our goal is at the end of this course, uh, when presented with a problem, that you'll be able to say, oh, hey, I could write a program to do that. And we get feedback from students, you know, non-computer science students who, uh, in fact, uh, do that. Uh, you know, who, who's here? So uh, Dr. Embody, I mean, myself and uh, Dr. Punch, uh, we wrote the book. Uh, we created the videos. Uh, Dr. Punch is actually doing, working on the second course now. And uh, you, know, the, you know, the structure of this, this is a you know, sort of a flipped or hybrid course, uh, might be a little different than what uh, many of you have done before. It takes a different kind of discipline. And, and the idea is that our videos are supplemental to the text so that, uh, you know, hey, we wrote that text. I'm not gonna type it all in again. Uh, and, and, the, you know, and we organized it. So, so the idea is that you read the chapter in the text you watch some videos and then you do some exercises. There's a thing called a lab, and uh, and then you'll you'll do a programming project, and that's what you'll be doing every week. Uh, there are some people who try and do this without the text. I, I don't recommend it. Sort of under pro tips, uh, you know. I'm I'm very very happy if you go out and find a secondhand uh, edition of the course. Uh, I mean of the text, uh, you know. Just uh, you know, reading will will uh, uh, help make a lot of this other stuff uh, uh, make a lot more sense. It, it's made you know the design of the course is that you're in fact going to uh, do some reading. Again, very different than many courses. Uh, there were, will be two midterms and a final, and so your grades will come out of these uh, you know weekly chapter exercises and the weekly labs and the programming assignments. Uh, the thing is that the labs are kind of weird in that we expect you to do them, uh, but they don't actually count for points into the grade. In fact, they, we, we sort of reverse it. If you miss three labs, then we, we uh, deduct half a point off of your final grade. So if, if you're gonna get a 3.5, you now have a 3.0. Uh, you miss yet another lab, now we dock you another half, half a, a final grade point. So uh, there's a high expectation uh, to get those, those done. And, and the details are, are in the syllabus. Uh, but let's take a look at the, the web page. Uh, you know, so I'll show you here that it's uh, www.cse.msu.edu tilde, funny squiggly thing, uh, CSE uh, 231. And when you go to that page, you get something that looks like this. In fact, just tonight, I realized that the uh, um, that it still said summer 2017 until just a couple of minutes ago. Uh, I'm a little late in making this video. I was uh, out at my daughter's uh, wedding. If you sent me email, hopefully Ali Raza was able to take care of it uh, because I was in fact off the grid. Uh, and he, when you look at this page, you will see that there that. Um, uh, over on the, the left hand side here is a start here button and guess what that's a good place to start and when you take a look at that uh, it gives you a little page gives you a quick little outline uh, you know some stuff that I've already talked about read a chapter in the text watch the videos uh, do some online exercises and note I did say that those are collaborative and then you complete a lab and there, there's sort of two types of people in this, two, two types of lab sections. Um, the great majority of you have a have a, a, a scheduled lab on campus in the third floor of the engineering building. 
and there's a, there'll be a teaching assistant in there to help you through that. And, and that is a, a collaborative exercise. The truly online students in section 730, you'll do those on your own. And then every week, once we get rolling here, there'll be a, a programming project. Uh, notice that that is done on your own. And if you, don't, if you don't do it on your own, then you end up with a zero. Do that a couple of times, we'll flunk you for the course. So we take that pretty seriously. So watch out for the difference there. Uh, uh, so, you know, there are, there are a couple of highlights uh, here, and these are actually live links. Make sure you look at the syllabus. There is a page that we call the due dates page. That's kind of handy because it tells you when things are due. And by the way, even though this is an online, you know, there's an, you know, you know, these online videos, this is very much a synchronous course. There is stuff due all the time. You know, every week you have a, uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta read a chapter, you gotta watch the videos, you gotta do the chapter exercises, you have to do a lab and you have to do a programming project. Boom, boom, boom. We're hitting you, you know, pretty hard. This is a fast paced course. We got a lot to do. However, uh, one of the biggest points of confusion about this course is that uh, this is in fact a first course for, in programming for people. All right? so, so our expectation is that you have never programmed before. Uh, we're going to push you hard, but our expectation is that you've never programmed before. Uh, anytime we've done a survey in this course, we find that somewhere around 20-25% of the students have actually done some programming before, uh, but the great majority of you haven't. And, and it will feel like everybody around you already knows how to program, but that in fact is not the case. And in fact, the greatest predictor of getting a four point in this course is not having programmed. If you've programmed before, the, the uh, uh, you know, history shows that uh, the, our three points are, have the greatest number of people who have programmed before. Our four points have the greatest number of people who haven't programmed before. So uh, if you have pro, we, we don't actually know why that's the case, but it's been consistently like that for at least 20 years. Uh, one thing uh, uh, that, that had, okay, so, well, let, let, let me just keep going down the line here. Um, uh, the, you know, there, there, there'll be this online uh, piazza that, that we will set up, a place where you ask questions. There's also a help room, which will be located in Wilson. We get kicked out of that room once in a while, uh, and, and, you know, including this Thursday, uh, but there'll be plenty of, of uh, directions on, on where to do that. Uh, the text is listed in the syllabus, and previously we had to have uh, the e-text uh, yeah, this with the access card uh, because we used uh, uh, that for the chapter exercises. Uh, this fall we're doing something different. Uh, our, our programming projects are going to be handed in using this Mirror Mirror system and we are switching our chapter exercises to that also. There's a $25 charge for that, but that's, that's the, uh, the bad news. Uh, the good, good news part of that is that uh, the, the previous system that we used cost $40. So, uh, so we just saved you, uh, saved you some money there. Uh, and, and let me back up now. So that, that's getting started. Uh, there's also um, the, the syllabus. And there's a lot of stuff there in the syllabus. Highlights being that there's a thousand points in this course, and so you want to keep track of where those points are. Um, the labs, including the pre-labs, are required. So you don't get credit for a lab unless you do the pre-lab, and the pre-lab has to be done before the lab. Um, so you know, keep track of this. There's a lot of uh, a lot of things like that. Um, be careful that uh, you know, you know, that that there are email. There should already be email, uh, emails uh, from either myself or uh, Ali Raza, uh, our, our other instructor. Um, and if if for example you you have MSU Edu or CSE.MSU Edu, go to your junk. Then you're going to miss our emails, and that will uh, you'll miss a lot of things with that. Uh, not a good idea. So, so there's uh, there's Ali Raza. Um, uh, he's he's uh, an instructor for the department. Um, 
and and I, we are wonderful, wonderfully lucky to have them around. So there's things in here like the examinations and course projects and the chapter exercises. Uh, there are uh, exams and uh, we have locations for those. So there's two midterms and, and a final. There are lab exercises that are credit, no credit. Um, and as I mentioned already, uh, this, this business of, um, you know, getting deducted half, half a grade point on, uh, you know, for missing those. So watch out for that. Uh, computer projects are to be done individually. Okay. And they're to be done individually. So, uh, uh, you, know, you know, those, think of those as like sort of like mini, uh, mini little mini tests. And, and so on. So uh, be careful of that. Uh, some academic integrity things in there. Let me, now let me move to the rest of the stuff. So online. Oh, uh, one thing that's important is that you will want to get the software for the for Python installed on your system. Right now, uh, the the latest one is 3.6, unless they just changed it the other day. The important thing is is that you want uh, Python 3, not Python 2. So, you know, 3.5 is fine. 3.4 is fine. If, if 3.7, you know, which is in um, uh, beta, uh, it, you know, if that comes out and you want that, that's fine. Just not 2. It's got to be 3. That's really what, what matters here. Uh, and, uh, you know, and, and when you actually install it, let me bring up my version of it here. I think I have it running. Yep, looks something like that. That's the, the Anaconda Spider. Uh, let me get rid of that. And uh, so this is where you will do your, uh, your exercises. So here is, uh, on the online content, this is how the course is organized. There's this welcome video. Hopefully you got it there. Uh, and then each week, week one, week two, week three, and so on. And when you click on one of these, you see that um, there, is, there, is a, there is a reading to be done, all right? In this case, uh, chapters zero and one. And I have a draft of chapters zero and one. So for example, if you've ordered the text online and it hasn't showed up yet, uh, that, you know, you can at least read a, a PDF of a draft of it, which is, is good enough for this point, uh, for things at this point. And then, um, you know, then there's the, uh, the video, uh, that, uh, particular video was when we had three, five, doesn't matter. Like I said, three, five, three, six, uh, it, it really, um, doesn't matter. And, and we're still getting, uh, the, uh, you know, some of our videos still have some things from uh, one, some pre-spider, uh, uh, you know, look to some of the videos. But I, I think they, uh, uh, I, I don't think that will uh, uh, cause you any problems. Uh, and notice that um, in addition to, you know, so, so there's sort of a, uh, you know, you read the chapter, you look at some videos, see what a first program looks like. And then there are some exercises chap from chapter one. They are on the Mirror Mirror system. And uh, you can actually get to the Mirror Mirror system through D2L. So check that out. Uh, then there's a lab one and already there's a project one. Uh, so when are those due? Well, let's back up a page. And there at the top here is this due dates. All right, so this is a this is an important page. All right, so so when we look at the due dates, uh, you know that's it, it shows you every week you have to do a uh, uh, a reading. And so one of the things you'll notice immediately is that in this week you got to read chapter zero. All right, and and watch this video and so on. And then right away on Monday, there's a lab zero due. On, uh, and and that, that's, uh, that's due for everybody. So check that out. Oh, Monday, gee, that's uh, Labor Day. That means you better do that before the weekend. Uh, so, so watch out for that. 
Uh, and then these lab due dates are actually, as it says up here, labs 1 to 13, all, th those are there for uh, the, the truly online se section 730s. Everybody else, you will go to a lab, a, you know, a physical lab, third floor of engineering. Uh, and notice that there are uh, exercises. Uh, you know, I put the due date on Saturday. They had to be due someday. Um, you know, you're actually better off doing them earlier. And then the following Monday, your first project is due. Uh, and, uh, you know, so you, you want to you'll want to get going on that. All right. And, and so this is your guideline to uh, uh, what's going on in the course. Notice there's kind of a rhythm to each week. You read a chapter, you watch some videos. Uh, there's always a project due, there's a lab that you go to, and then there's some exercise to do. And guess what? Next week, boom, we're off and we're doing it again. Uh, there's a programming project due every week, except during exam week. Notice there's no, no programming assignment due there, but we still have labs. Uh, and so it's boom, 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 boom. Uh, the programming projects, as we go in order here, as they increase, they increase a lot in difficulty because we're assuming that you've never programmed before. We have to walk before we can run. Therefore, they start off pretty easy. You can maybe do them on a Monday, get halfway through this course. There is no way you're going to get this thing done on a Monday. Uh, it takes multiple days to do uh, these programming projects. Get started early. If you leave them till Mondays, boom, you're in trouble. Uh, there, there's, it's just not possible to get the kind of help that you need. We know problem solving is something that takes multiple days. Uh, all right, so those, that's kind of a walk through the uh, uh, through, through getting things started here. Uh, we've we sent out some uh, some emails uh, you know, so that the the big things that you want to think about now is get started on the readings get going on that lab zero. And the lab zero is really, we, we, by the time you get to your first lab, we want you to have gotten Python installed on your system and you know, you've actually figured out how to hand in a, uh, um, you know, hand in a program through the mirror mirror system. So that's what the lab zero is about. You know, getting your getting all the stuff set up, and some people will have problems with it. Yeah, you, know, you know, maybe you know some glitch here and there. You know, we're trying to get all those kind of glitches out of the way, so we, and then we can really start uh, start doing some uh, programming. So two pro tips here: um, get started on programming projects early. You know, don't let these early ones lull you into uh, bad habits. And uh, the the other thing is that, yeah, we, do, we you really got to read the text in, in in this book. So we are here, Ali Raza, myself, the TAs. You know, our our job is to guide you through this minefield to be, get you to become a better problem solver. And it's a better problem solver in the context of programming, but uh, don't lose track of the fact that this course is about problem solving. It's problem solving using a, uh, a computer. So good luck. Here we go.